make sure that uh, before practice or throughout the week, just make sure everything's firing so that I don't put myself in a position like that. Don't know any of those things, but I do know that like the idea of romance is kind of what what makes me get out of bed in the morning. That's right. The New Heights starter jackets. Uh, we're giving them out to a few lucky uh, 92 percenters out right now. A touchdown to Kelsey. Um, I plan on doing something. Uh, haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Uh, okay. Travis Kelsey drops to his knees to give Taylor Swift not what you think. It has nothing to do with the ring. Want to know the details? Keep watching. Swift the Muse. Travis's streak of shouting out to Taylor Swift on his podcast is still going strong. It's all due to the ripple effect of Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey, which has already had a profound effect on both NFL ratings and merch sales. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end has seen a nearly 400% spike in sales within 24 hours of the singer first appearing at one of his games back in September. But it's not just Americans buying up Kelsey jerseys, as the pair revealed on their New Heights podcast this week. Travis has been vocal about the duo's romance on his podcast and in NFL press conferences, previously teasing that he brought all this attention on himself by name-dropping Swift in the first place. I'm the one that did the whole friendship bracelet thing and told everybody how butthurt I was that I didn't get to meet Taylor, he said on New Heights in September, calling Swift ballsy for showing up to Arrowhead Stadium to see him play. What's real is that it is my personal life and I want to respect both of our lives. Make sure that uh, before practice or throughout the week, just make sure everything's firing so that I don't put myself in a position like that. I'll send someone down for you. What was that like, that process for you? Well, it was it was as all-consuming as writing a song is. Don't know any of those things, but I do know that like the idea of romance is kind of what what makes me get out of bed in the morning. Um, I'm going to keep my personal relationship personal. <laughs> Open, and then a little flip back from Kelsey as he sends it to Noah Gray. One it was kind of over the course of, you know, a month span just following her and liking the pictures that she was posting. Taylor Swift. That's right. <laughs> she liked an Instagram announcement from the Chiefs about you breaking this record. A deal breaker for me when a girl can't handle herself with class or acts different when, when you're not around me and things like that. That's Travis's relationship has put an even bigger spotlight on his family, including parents Ed and Donna Kelsey. Jason, 36, didn't hesitate to stir the pot before his younger brother's romance was confirmed, but he admitted to feeling concerned about the heightened level of attention. And it seems it's actually doing his fortunes a world of good. Well, in other new news, we are the number one and number two top-selling jerseys in the United Kingdom, Jason Kelsey remarked in the December 13 episode. Yeah, Trav, you got the number one best-selling jersey. Good to know we're still number one in something these days, and followed by me at number two, he continued joking about both the Chiefs and Philadelphia Eagles' recent turn of bad luck. This is crazy. It's Travis, then me, then Pat Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. Doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I'll take it, Travis admitted. A lot of Swifties over there in the UK, Jason followed up with, to which Travis responded, there's gotta be. Only reasonable solution to all of this. And I think I'm only number two because I think a lot of people in the UK maybe just don't watch football and they're like, oh, I heard this Kelsey guy dates Taylor Swift and buy my jersey by accident, Jason joked, of his own baffling spike in UK-based sales. Uh, they the are Kelsey, up the, the Kelsey jerseys, 400%. <laughs> Jesus. That's right, the New Heights starter jackets. Uh, we're giving them out to a few lucky uh, 92 percenters out right now. Cannon in motion. There's Kelsey. There's a touchdown, Kansas City. The starter jackets will ship in January, and again, these are limited amounts. So if you... Mahomes gets the ball out and is able to complete it. Battle for the first seed, and here is the ball in the hands of the Bills. It's online ASAP. Another special announcement uh, for the Jackets. We are giving a few of these away. I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her. Yeah. No, they're all Kylie Kelsey fans, Travis countered. They're supporting Kylie, of course. Shout out to Kylie, shout out to Taylor, thank you guys. On that note, Travis floated the idea of taking the popular podcast abroad and recording a live show from London, which Jason said he'd be very down for. Nice, 
Well, shout out to everybody across the pond over there in the UK for grabbing our jerseys, Travis added. That's pretty damn cool. We'll have to try to find our way over there this off-season and say hello to everybody in person. Some listeners expected Travis to acknowledge Swift's birthday on the episode, which dropped the day she turned 34, but he didn't reference their romance at length. Swift previously broke her silence on her relationship with Travis in her Time cover story, which was published online on December 6. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, she teased, referring to a July episode of New Heights, in which Travis revealed that he wanted to give Swift a friendship bracelet when he attended the Eras Tour in Kansas City that month. At the end of the day, you know, I've, I've always been pretty good about compartmentalizing and being able to stay focused in this building, so. Do you say that you fall in love easily or out of love easily? Yeah, both. Both? Um, yeah, I'm really young. The latest status is I got to see her last week. That's the latest status right there. Bolton had the 36 yard fumble return in the Super Bowl. Whenever I'm not around you, I need you to still represent me, just mm -hmm. as, as the same that I'm doing for you. A touchdown to Kelsey. The entire collage, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't just go through every single pick and just started liking it immediately. Thanks, Tay. I appreciate you um, on the uh, Chiefs, Chiefs page, Porton. Long gain again, run out by Justin Simmons. It is just astonishing. I heard that you Instagram stalked her and then she DM'd you. That's exactly what Very happened. Very strategic. Yeah. It is what it is, man. I was out there flying around. I uh, wish I could help, could have helped my team out a little bit more than I did, but. While the twosome didn't meet at the concert, Travis was famously butthurt about the missed connection, Swift told Time that they started hanging out right after the podcast shout-out. We actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other," she continued. Swift was spotted at her first Kansas City Chiefs game in September, but she clarified that she and Travis were already a couple by then. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date," she added. The pair's relationship has been a hot topic for sports fans and Swifties alike over the past three months, as Swift has made appearances at both home and away Chiefs games. Travis, meanwhile, flew to Argentina in November to support Swift on the international leg of the Eras Tour. When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves. We're showing up for each other. Other people are there and we don't care. Swift told the magazine. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone, and we're just proud of each other. What do experts think? So is Travis's adulation well-placed, or is it just hero worship? That could be the real deal as a body language expert weighed in on Taylor Swift's presence at Travis Kelsey's recent game and her revelations have left us all stumped. It means that Taylor's presence at Travis's games might be helping his team win. This expert recently made interesting remarks about Taylor Swift's persona during Travis Kelsey's recent game. On Sunday night, the 33-year-old singer showed up to a match against Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills. She cheered on her bow wearing a leather miniskirt paired with red and black Chiefs jumper and completed the look with knee-high leather boots. Speaking with the mirror, the expert named Judy James said that Taylor was so fiercely supportive of Travis that it could intimidate the opposing team. Listen, you got a lot of people that care about Taylor and uh, for good reason. And raising no voice. Here's Pacheco able to bounce. First big play of the night. Get this one to be back on the mountaintop, man. I'll tell you what, it's the best feeling. Yeah, buddy. Here's <laughs> With the uh, paparazzi just taking photos from uh, from all over the place, but at the same time, it's uh, you know, it comes with it. it uh, could, couldn't have happened to a better dude, man. This is, oh, this is a dream come true, Jimmy. This is sweet. Come man. on, but Are you I, kidding me? I'm. What? Um, I plan on doing something. Uh, haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Uh, okay. Taylor's strutting walk with its long strides and her hands stuffed into the pockets of her coat that flaps over her shoulders like a cape create a dramatic and rather regal entrance here, suggesting she is going to be a fiercely supportive fan of her guy Travis, she said. 
She added that the lover crooner's power walk and straight glances towards the buffaloes are victorious looking gestures. However, Taylor's alleged tactics failed to work as the Chiefs lost by 20 to 17. Mistaken knee. Speaking of taking a knee, it's not the first time Kelsey has taken a knee. Amidst rumors of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey dating, an old photo of the latter is now going viral and not for the right reasons. In the photo, the football tight end is seen taking a knee during a game. As for SB Nation, the game was held between his team Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers way back in September 2017. The reason behind taking a knee, which is considered a mark of protest against racism, violence, unfair treatment, and the like. It happened because of a comment made by then-President Donald Trump. You see, as soon as rumors of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey being engaged in a romantic relationship came forth, social media users started digging into Kelsey's past actions. This is one place I can get away and just be locked in and focused and um, always check my myself and my ego at the door. And I think I might treat her to uh, something, uh, a nice scenic uh, dinner out here in Los Angeles. So. Yeah. I had flowers, specifically her favorite flowers, waiting for us at dinner. Show me that love is one. Of, love is the great unknown. Mm -hmm. It's like, and that's why I write songs about it. What was it like going back, revisiting that era, and doing it all over again? It was an amazing experience. And putting it all together as an offense, specifically, and. Uh, just non-stop trying to get better, man. That's always been the goal. Right now, out. He's fired. He's fired! You know, everything going on at the beginning of the season, just how are you right now and where's your mindset? I'm rolling, man. One such act that went viral was the player taking a knee during the national anthem before a game. In the image, Travis Kelsey takes a knee but maintains the usual gesture of placing his hand over his heart. At the time, Trump also added that these protests were hurting the game. The remarks were condemned by the NFL, with its commissioner Roger Goodell issuing a statement for the same. So the knee he has taken this time is a verbal one. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.